So hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Akusia Benhini. If you're new, if you're a returning subscriber, hey boo, and hey boo, what do you do? So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the tips and tricks that you need to know about underpainting technique, okay? The underpainting makeup technique. Layering your product underneath your foundation is basically what that is. So I'm going to show you everything that I have learned over time. I love doing that technique. At this point, I feel like I have become a master of that technique. So if you're interested in watching and learning how to do your makeup with the underpainting technique, then please keep on watching. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. And without further ado, my loves, let's get right into the video. <laughs> You always want to start off your makeup with a well hydrated face. And when I say well hydrated, I just mean moisturized, okay? You need to make sure that your skin is protected and moisturized underneath. It does help for a smooth application, it helps for flawless finish, and it helps for your makeup and your skin to adhere to each other well. Okay? Are we making sense? Okay, good. <laughs> so for today's primer, I'm using the Tease Cosmetics. This is the suit of Amo Cos cosmetic what am i saying suit of amo primer i love this stuff it's just like a moisturizer literally it is really good very moisturizing as the name goes um so it just gives you that moisture it's not sticky icky it's not your everyday milk elf hydro primer but i've come to realize that this gives me a very nice base a very smooth base so that's what i'm going to use as a primer okay so skin is prepped and prime is what i like to call it i'm gonna start off with my contour for contour product i'm using the thread beauty basic complexion stick this is in the shade 240 okay so the brush that i'm gonna use is the elf brush this is actually the mineral powder brush but one thing with makeup is once you get a hang of things you're able to use this brush for three different purposes if you know what you're doing so you can definitely use this to do what i'm about to do but obviously if you're a beginner it might be a little like uh yeah but you can you definitely can Did you guys see how much <laughs> coverage this product gives you that's why i like it and it's so smooth it's nice and creamy it's buildable so if you're a beginner looking for a good drugstore brand, try Thread Beauty. You can pick it up at Target. They do amazing products and they do a wide shade range for all of us, okay? With your parameters, you want to build the shape in a way that your face is shaped. So however your face is shaped, you want to follow the structure that you naturally have and then build on that, okay? And so far we've layered our contour. So the next step is concealer. I'm gonna use the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. This is their full coverage multi-use in the shade 55N. I love this stuff, okay? These stuff are so good. Sephora products, they're really good. <music> So I'm gonna start off with my brush. I'm using the Real Techniques. This is 217 Concealer Blending Brush. Really nice and dense. So it gives you that coverage that you're looking for and then this will smooth it out for me. And one other tip is if you're blending with your brush and you feel like you have a lot of products and you want to take some of that away, you can always just like dab it off on the Beauty Blender and then go back in and then blend that out, okay? For this video, I'm going to leave a lot of the blending process in the video just so that you guys can get the tutorial because I feel like it's a tutorial and the blending definitely makes a big part of giving you that look that you're looking for so that's why I'm including a lot of the blending in this video okay and then the next step will be to highlight I'm gonna use the Urban Decay this is their naked stay naked quickie concealer in the shade 70 nn and then one trick that I do with my highlighting is I keep the product in the inner corners of my eyes like even with blending I will try as much as possible to blend majority of the product right in the inner corners of my eyes and then I will drag what's left of that out okay so now we're gonna bring a little more life into this face because it's definitely looking a little bland okay I'm using my blush this is cream blush from Fenty Beauty this is in a shade Daiquiri dip 
I love this because it's much more on the orangey side of the blush. I feel like that looks a lot more flattering on a dark skin girl. So. And then the cream blush brush, we're always tricky to say that, but the cream blush brush that I use is from e.l.f. as well. Let me just say that e.l.f. has some of the best brushes for beginners hands down will get you blended and looking right okay now after you place that blush you want to go back in with your beauty blender or your brush whichever one makes you comfortable and then go over your under eye and also sort of like try to merge it in with the blush you know with makeup they have to marry each other they have to be siblings they have to literally understand together if it makes sense if you get what i'm saying so you always want to make sure that you're merging the products and blending so that any hash lines that's you know is visible can go away or be softened okay okay so now it's time to set this is my true girl Laura Messier probably everybody's true girl I'm gonna use that to set my under eye I was pick from the pan and then go into the lid press it down this is what I always do powder plays a huge part when it comes to makeup and just generally making you get that long lasting smooth face powder plays a role in that so use that powder okay don't be afraid use the powder <laughs> i forgot i forgot i almost missed a step but i'm gonna go in with my foundation i'm gonna use the house labs foundation i love this stuff really good i have a review so if you want to know the full details you can definitely watch that review i will link it in the description um but this is in the shade 540 deep neutral so this is what we have and it's good because i set my under eye you guys could see or can see that i've obviously set my under eye because i forgot i literally forgot but i don't have to put foundation on my under eye or in this area so that's fine it's literally perfectly fine okay um but we have foundation on and this is what it looks like this is literally see how my skin is glowing underneath like i love that for me i love that okay so i'm gonna go back in and continue setting my face and then now i'm gonna go in with my contour set my contour this is the fenty beauty um pro filter powder in 495 i'm using the elf buffing foundation brush to set my contour now i'm gonna go ahead and bake and this is definitely the part that scares a lot of people because they're like oh that's a lot of crazy powder so for baking i'm using the hide translucent setting powder and just like highlighting i like to place that right here in the inner corner so this is kind of like what you're gonna look like okay you have to leave this on for a while just leave it on to build coverage you know do what it's supposed to do so in the meantime what i'm gonna do is do my eye work you know brows the whole nine yards I'll come back and then we can dust this off, okay? Okay, so I did something very simple with the eye look. No lashes, none of that. I usually just take a nice fluffy brush that's clean and then I use that. Last but not the least, I'm going to go in with my powder blush to set the cream blush that I used. And then the brush that I'm using is from Sonia Kashuk. You usually can pick this up from Target. It says it's a small point blush brush small point blush brush that's what i'm using and then the blush that i'm using is the house labs this is the house labs blush in the shade watermelon bliss let me just say this house labs blush is worth the hype okay everything that they say about it is true it's buildable it's blendable it's beautiful it's just the girl okay she's the girl that they say she is and then the last thing i'm gonna set my face i'm using the juvia's place powder this is the shade zambia and then my trusted girl of all time this brush i don't go without especially this brand i love them so much this is evita joseph it's a Ghanaian brand if you didn't know um it's a brand born right out of ghana they do amazing brushes some of the best brushes that you can ever come across i still have all of their brushes and it's been like over can you guys imagine i've been using these brushes for close to like five years at this point they're so good okay they are so good and long lasting obviously because they still they're still here what <laughs> and then i'm just gonna use a brush with no product i'm not picking up any product i'm just gonna use that to sweep my under eye just because i like an even canvas i'm the type of girl that i would set my whole face because i don't want like my under eye alone to look like 
super bright and unsensible like I don't know if it makes sense but yeah okay so before I go in and set my face with a spray what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my shallow Tilbury palette palette powder <laughs> this is a tip that I have recently come across as per my own findings I've been trying a lot of crazy things with my makeup and I find that using this stuff okay after everything to just smoothing under your under eye oh my god let me show you so this is the powder this is their micro smooth powder and then I'm gonna take a brush this is you want to take any fluffy brush that you can get and I see I think this brush is from Amazon or I had no idea it has no name but it's fluffy it's small and it can get the job done how I need it to do so I'm gonna go into that okay what you want to do is just sweep that directly under your under eye just sweep that go in the sides of your nose but your under eye that is the biggest part you see how smooth that is like look at how smooth that looks like as compared to this and I have used a million and one powders to set my face okay Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Do you see that difference? You see how smooth my skin is looking? That's what I'm talking about, okay? That is what I'm talking about. I'm just using my blush brush to just sweep off any excesses, make sure that we're looking in sync, okay? And this is basically the look. I'm gonna set my face with my Urban Decay Alt Nighter. When you're setting your face, use that spray, okay? Set your face, use it, and then make sure that you're fanning it down immediately. Make sure that you're giving it some cool air immediately. You don't want to just leave the water on your face, it doesn't help. When you fan it down, it dries down quickly and it gets the job done the way it's supposed to. And the last tip after you set your face with your setting spray take your beauty blender I usually would take one that's empty has nothing and then I'm gonna use that or you can use just the back of the beauty blender if that's clean and then press that in this is going to take away any crazy shine because sometimes after you set your face especially if you're oily or combination skin like myself it will tend to look look at that that looks way too oily for me it looks way too shiny it looks way too bright but look at here when you press that down it just like blends out and tones down that shine so do that because look at that that's great but I'm gonna go ahead and press to show you see it's still definitely glowy still very much you know it's looking like hydrated skin healthy skin but it doesn't look like you literally have oil sitting on your face I don't like that so I always do this after I set my face and yeah okay so you guys this is basically everything when it comes to under painting and every tip under the Sun that I said here is basically all the tips that I go by every time these are the things that I would do generally when I'm doing my makeup or keep in mind when I'm doing my makeup so this is actually what you should arrive at if you do it well okay if you put it together well this is what you should have you should have a smooth skin well blended well hydrated um, but also you know nice coverage and all of that you know what I'm saying so I also wanted to keep this look like very basic because I want you to understand that makeup is really all about the base no matter what you do if your base is off the makeup is gonna look off and if your base is right you don't even have to do too much your makeup is still going to look like oh. you know you're gonna get all those compliments because your base is looking right the skin is looking right keep that in mind base first everything second everything else is second okay learn how to blend learn how to place the products blend the products make sure that you're getting that seamless blend and then everything else is secondary okay <laughs> so I hope that this video really does help I've been wanting to do this for a minute I'm not even gonna lie I'm like I have to share with you guys under painting and how I feel like it's really good and how it can be helpful to beginners so comment below let me know if you have any questions if you have any other tutorials that you'd like to see on the channel 
be sure to comment below let me know i just want to say that i'm coming with a lot more tutorials these days so be sure to look out for that okay be sure to look out for that um, but this is it for underpainting and everything that i think that you should know um give the video a huge thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that and i love you okay i don't have to say much but you know i love you i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs> when they say she get it from her mama Mama say you fuck her right Your body blue is pump like Tell me in the hall but come Tell me is you down Cause I'm trying to go good tonight I'm Holding who she slept her right I just wanna live in a fantasy I think we deserve